here's part of my home machine shop this is a nine inch south bend lathe here I have a 12 inch pedestal grinder right here I have a 14 inch shaper and over here I have a small camelback drill press up in my garage I have a horizontal mill made by diamond it's probably a 1950s model here's another pedestal grinder that's my forge that I use make a few knives do a few things like that continuing up in the garage I have my 1917 flather 20 inch lathe which I use quite a bit here is a 1964 index model 645 milling machine Here's a 1916, 1917 20, uh, 20 inch camelback drill press. It's complete with a power feed. Here's around a 1940s LeBlond 13 inch lathe. Here's my little cutoff saw. Got a nice welder here. There's a 300 pound anvil that I use. There's a couple extra chucks for the 20 inch lathe. That's a 15 inch uh, bison, no, a buck, 15 inch buck. It weighs about 240 pounds. That's a 15 inch four jaw there. Shop's no good without tooling. I got a lot of paper shank drill bits. End mill holders, end mills, more end mills, more end mills, taps, taps and die nuts, big taps. And more taps. And plus I have all the measuring tools to go with them. Got a big bench, bench vise. And don't forget my mechanics tools. I got snap-on box. Blue point box. All filled up with tools. There's the best tool in the shop. I call it liquid wrench. Compressors. Literature. My son is tearing apart a couple welders right now. So he's got the place a mess. Can't have a home shop without stock. Here's a small fortune in brass. Some big brass there. More brass over here. All these bars here. Up in my shed, I must have about 1,500 pounds of stainless. Another 2,000 pounds of uh, mild steel. Maybe 300 pounds of aluminum. But I use pieces all the time. There's a about a 80, 90 pound Colswell anvil. Plenty of tooling for the small lathe. How many people have a three inch drill bit hanging on their wall?
Really, I have so much stuff, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know everything I have. Forgot the little drill press I use for little holes. My spraying equipment up there. Don't forget all your drawers filled with nuts and bolts, too. Pro propane tank for my forge. And you gotta have a tire machine, too. Change tires. <laughs> 